All right. <clears throat> this is for the brothers. And although I know that the women are going to watch this and probably have some words to say, respect, okay? Because this is for the brothers. And the reason why I'm going this route and I'm putting it down like that is because I believe that Ultimately, it's our responsibility anyway. Um, so, this is over your head, ladies. Um, you want to walk like a man, you want to act like a man, and you should be a man. And you're not. You do not have the tools. You come with two X's. I got both the X and the Y. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm trying to make you understand something, okay? Um... Okay, brothers, we need to be in a position of authority. Um, we need to be able to take the lead, and that is at a split second's notice. Um, how you run your house uh, is not important or should not be important to your neighbor. Um, however, um, how you run your house could lend to the way things are operated outside your home. So it might be in your best interest um, to also run your house. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we're entering into a period, um, a stage in, 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 in our social consciousness where we are uh, more than obligated um, to follow the law as given uh, to Israel through, through uh, Moshe, Moses. And we're going to be expected to, to exact that law and to live by that law and our, ourselves most accountable, our wives, our children, must also be trained up in that law. Um, this is not a joke. There's nothing to play with. This is like serious. Um, there are some charges that, you know, call for life. And if we are not paying attention, we can get smoked, you know, by those challenging us. Um, I know that many brothers are messianic. And I, I hate to put this to you in this way, but there is no savior aside from yourself. Um, and knowing that truth is what is going to help you, help free you um, of the other nation's burden. Uh, doing these things in accordance with the law and understanding what is meant uh, without any symbolisms. We know that many words in the Hebrew language have two meanings, uh, but they are they are concrete meanings. They are not symbolisms. This is what it means. Um, in the English language, we learn that um, you know you can put a group of words together and you can change it. You know Shakespeare. Um, you know how how lyrics are in our hip hop music today. Okay, all these things we are aware of, um, but we don't, we don't, we don't serve them. We serve ourselves, okay, by learning the law and living by it uh, the way the Most High sees fit, or saw fit, or sees fit, because it's real. It's now, and you will see if you have read toward that these things are still applicable and still can be completed today. You know, a lot of people want to bring up, can you do all the commandments, so why are you not doing the sacrifices? Really, that's the, really only the hardest one, the only one that some, some place won't let you do, you know, because animal rights or your, your place. But if you have really read Torah, it speaks of doves, um, and there are many ways to acquire those. So if you really want to uh, abide by the law, you can. And having the most high by your side may prove to be um, 
the best thing for you. I can only speak for myself, but I know that there are brothers out there that are studying. And I would say do not mix Torah with anything else until you have that Torah down pat. You know, the prophets are just that. They are prophets. They are like our newscasters today. They are giving a weather report. They are telling us what the laws are for survival. You know what I'm saying? They're not making new laws. So don't get caught up in the Isaiahs and in the Daniels and in the Proverbs. I mean, come on. David was a sinner. We still uphold David. We're to look to those who were as free from guilt as possible. You know, Solomon, you know, sinned. He was an idolater. You understand what I'm saying? And, and these men do not reiterate Torah. You know what I'm saying? They have these woes and these other things, and they have all these other, other, other feelings included. And this is where we are failing. And it's important that you realize that that's what it is. If you stick to the law, you can be whoever you want to be. With that, you know, and this, this is not opinion, this is not anything, this is the law. So if I'm not breaking the law, I can do it however I want. So then you don't have to listen to a, a David, you don't have to listen to a proverb, you don't have to listen to a Daniel or an Isaiah or anyone else for that matter. We know who the Greeks were, so we don't even pay attention to the New Testament because what? They were a debaucherous people. Okay? Israel was in exile for the second time. It's history. Look it up. Okay? Look it up. It's already there for us. You understand know what I'm saying? You might not have the exact year, but at this point, the exact year makes no difference if we know it within a 10 to 20 year range. Okay? Israel was in exile the second time. For the second time when the New Testament scriptures were written. Already for 300 years. Plus. So stop being ignorant. Okay? They are not trustworthy. Read the law, learn the law in full, and stop running from it so that you can be the authority you ought to be.